Hi, this is Bruce with Hunsaker Home Hacks. Please subscribe to the channel, ring the bell for future notifications. Share me with a friend and on social media. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter. So today we're going to be talking about Ebo Air. That's right, Ebo Air. Now, Ebo Air is my downstairs robot. I use him to navigate my entire downstairs when I'm outside of the house. Also, Ebo Air has smart AI technology in him, which means he can follow an individual. He will recognize a person and you can set him up to re recognize your pet also. It's super cool. Um, but because he does a lot of leaving his base and then, and <laughs> does a lot leaving his base, going to patrol around the house and he makes some great distance. He will make it out of the living room area where I have by the entryway. He will travel into the kitchen. He will travel into the family room and somehow he always makes his way back to his station. Only a few times has he got caught up on something like when my kid left his tennis shoes laying there and he got between the two tennis shoes and the couch and couldn't navigate himself out. And I got an alert message saying, hey, Ebo needs some help to get back to his station. And it was because my kid had blocked him in with his shoes or he had navigated himself in that block. Uh, but because he's out there and he's traveling around a lot, he picks up a lot of dust on his tracks and he gets a lot of fur and hair tied up in the little wheels and that impedes the navigation if the hair and fur are gunking up the wheel treads, the wheels in there. So we're going to take him apart and check him out and clean them all up. So don't touch that dial. Stay right here as we clean up Ebo Air. Okay, so we have Ebo Air here, and we are going to clean Ebo Air today and get everything back to a nice pristine condition. Because he's always out there roaming around doing his job, we're going to clean his tracks. Now you can see right here that his treads are very dirty. So you, you can see hair and things caught in here. So Ebo Air is very cool because of the way they did this. I think I just locked it, that made it even harder. All right, so we're gonna clean it. You can see his tires or his treads are pretty dirty. They have a lot of different gook on them. Who knows what that gook is? It's just dust and everything. And that can impede his ability to travel. All right, so we're going to pull these, try to get this out nice and neat. It's very tight, so you just got to give it some work. And it'll slowly come out. There we go. Now inside of here, you can see all the gook in here. This is all just dirt that Ebo has gotten into right there it's quite gross and you just want to clean all that out nice and neat you can see the fur and things from the, the pets right here it's all in it so the first thing you want to do is take the tread off on both sides Then you have this little slide wheel here. You want to take that off. Then you have the slide wheel in the back. Look at that big hunk of nastiness on it. And another one right there. Now these wheels right here have a slight little pin in them. Right here, they have a pin. If you push on that side, you can work these pins out. These tweezers are really good because they have that little angle. You can push on it and then you can just pull the pin out, set it to the side. That whole cartridge comes out and you can see the hair and fur that's gotten caught in there. And you pull this side out here. Do the same thing, just push that pin out from the back. And you can pull it out and throw it off to the side and you can see again all the fur and hair that got in there. 
You can see fur and hair stuck on the side there. It's just pretty gnarly. He gets out there. All right, so now we have the whole unit taken apart. We're going to take all this fur off. And hair. Some of it gets pretty wrapped around the gear, so a pair of tweezers is really good to break it all up. go look at that get it all off go to this side over here pull it out of there get in here and pull this stuff out right there Check these guys out, make sure they're clean. Check these guys out, make sure it's clean. All right, now I use a Windex wipe on the treads and a microfiber rag. So you just take it, fold it here, and then you can take the tread and just start working on it. clean again you can see the little paws back in it and that means he'll be able to move nice and good so from this to that super cool and do the other one the nice thing about using these type of wipes is you can they don't have to be very wet and you're not endangering any uh, particular parts or anything at the same time you're getting your bot all cleaned up all right both of them are clean again you want to look at this real quick lots of times these little pits where the track goes in will get little balls of hair and dirt you can just get a simple pair of tweezers and just kind of rub it out this time it's not too bad not bad at all This is usually just a little dirty on the edges. So these all look pretty good. Now let's look at the unit here. This is all plastic. You have your contacts right here for Evo. Sometimes stuff builds up right here. A pair of tweezers and this rag. Just rub it a little bit. Doesn't want it to be damp. You don't, don't want it to be wet. You just want it to be a little damp. And these are good to do that. All right. There we go. Now we're going to look inside of here. And we're going to clean this part right here. You can see how this stuff just got right there. So if I use this little flathead screwdriver just to kind of scrape at it a little bit. Take that buildup off. If you're having trouble with Evo's wheels turning, sometimes they get just too gunked up. And that causes um, 
Evo not to be able to back up correctly or causes him to misalign when he's backing up. Right there. And then if you take your nasty, dirty rags, just take one. I'll take it and I'll fold it like this into a nice little thing. Take my little screwdriver and just kind of gently go down to this area and rub. Not getting fluid in there, just rubbing with a damp cloth. And as I said, I use Windex wipes. to keep it nice and clean. Stay away from that little panel there though. That's where your connectors attach from here to here. And flip it on this side here and we're gonna do the same thing. Just rub a little bit right there, get all that gunk off. So he's clean. Now we got to put the unit back together. I mean, you can try to clean in here if it gets overly built up. I usually don't do that. All right, so this one's going the back. This goes right here, like so. You put your pin back in. So, make sure it's aligned in the back. Good design, simple, well thought out by Endobot. There you go. Put our little friends back on here. Put our little wheels back on the front. A little tread guys back on. So there we go, we got the cartridge back together. He's all clean. And we're gonna put it back in. Lock these back into place. That's all done, and then I'll just take another little wipe. Give Ebo's outlet or shell a little wipe down. And he's clean. All right, there you go. That's how you clean Ebo. All right, so now you got to see me clean up Ebo Air. That's right. Uh, I took them apart, we cleaned them up. You can see a vast difference between Ebo SE and Ebo Air's track system. 
The cartridge, you pull it out, you can see that it's very different. Well, he uses brushless uh, motors and the other one uses brush motors. That's part of it. Um, but he travels immensely around my downstairs. It's super cool. And when he's in the right mode, he will actually follow me from one room to another. He does stop about 10 feet away from me and he says like, hey, I can see you. And then he can, if you walk towards him, he backs up. If you walk away, he follows you. It's super cool. Uh, but also because I have him downstairs, if I want to see what's going on in my house, I want to see something beyond what my normal fixed cameras show me, I can jump into Ebo Air and I can tool around and have a great perspective on what I am seeing uh, through his camera. And his camera is super cool. It has a very wide perspective and I can see a lot and he navigates super well when outside of the house. His perspective for the camera is just right for navigation purposes also. So cleaning him is super easy. It, I do it about once a month unless it's a very, very busy day or a very, very busy month and we've had a lot of traffic. I may do a little bit more, especially with a lot more foot traffic in the house. So I hope you liked the video. My name is Bruce with Unsaker Home Hacks. Please subscribe to the channel. Ring the bell for future notifications. Share me with a friend and on social media. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter. And me and the boys will see you soon. See you soon. See you soon. And me and the boys. It made me nervous. But he uses brushless and Ebo. <laughs>